Are you ready to learn how to make this easy DIY garden trellis? Well, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to be using a couple of 2x4s to make this uh, trellis. Uh, the actual strips for the trellis, I'm going to be putting 5 uh, to make my fan. And I've set my saw to 5 eighths of an inch. You can also do this at uh, 3 quarter if you would like. Um, I've found that that thickness 5 eighths is plenty. The height of the trellis will be up to you. I'm going to make mine 6 foot tall. Um, I'm using 8 foot material so I have uh, plenty of leftovers here to use um, for the side slats as well. You are going to actually need a total of 6 of these. Um, I'm only showing 5 here, but the 6th one will be used to make your crossbars. What I'm doing here is just uh, making sure to cut down to my uh, desired height of the trellis, which is going to be 6 foot. Now with five of your strips on edge, go ahead and uh, place a clamp on there once you're square. Uh, this will just make sure that the boards don't shift whenever we're drilling our holes. For this, I am using um, four inch bolts and I'm going to drill my hole uh, roughly about two inches from the bottom. And with them all clamped together, it'll make sure that they line up. I also have a clamp, you can't see it in this picture, but I have a clamp on the other side of these uh, boards as well. So with both holes drilled, and again that second hole is about a couple of inches away, um, I'm going to go ahead and just fasten my nuts on. And then I'll just tighten these nuts up a bit. Um, they don't have to be super tight, just enough to hold it together. Now we're just going to remove the uh, the clamps, lay uh, the material on its edge, and I'm going to make a jig for the end of the fan. Uh, this is going to allow me to uh, get more accurate measurements, and the width of the fan is going to be up to you. Um, I found for this length that right around 40 inches, um, 38 inches, you know, somewhere in there will make a nice fan. So for this jig, I've actually put those screws 38 inches apart. And I'm just using a piece of scrap wood here. I'm also putting another screw from my center board just to kind of hold it in place. And I'm finding center of my outer board and my center board. And I'll put another screw on the inside. So basically you're just putting these screws in um, to keep the, the boards from wanting to pull in, to keep them in place. And this is what it'll look like, you know, once you actually have it in your jig and you're ready for your crossbars. Uh, this jig will hold this form um, so you can have a nice, even base to measure off of. The amount of overhang that you leave is up to you, or if you, you know, don't want overhang at all. Um, I decided I wanted to put a couple of inches of overhang and I'm marking here just where I thought it looked best from the top. So this board is cut at 42 inches. Uh, that allows me with a couple of inches of overhang uh, based on where I decided to place it. And that is marked on that center board. Now I'm going down and just figuring out what spacing my next two boards would look best at. And for me that would be about 16 inches. Again, the spacing is completely up to you. So once you know your spacing, you're going to try to figure out what uh, length board would look best at that spacing. I decided that 12 inches will cover three of our uh, straight boards, and 12 inches drop down will actually cover all five. So at this point, I have a 42-inch board and two 12-inch boards. I'm just squaring up my top board and making sure that we're even on both sides. Whenever I square these up, I'm going to be squaring them up from the center board. Now I'm just going to put the two outside screws in and I'm going to be using um, exterior deck screws since my uh, material is 5 8 thick and it'll be the same for 3 quarter. Uh, I'm going to be using an inch and a quarter uh, deck screws. 
I like to pre-drill all of my holes and then countersink uh, the screw heads down a bit. With boards this narrow, even the screw head itself can split the material. And again, finding square 16 inches down for our second board off of the uh, center board. Pre-drilling and then countersinking. And once we have our final board, our bottom board in place and squared, um, we'll repeat. We will um, go ahead and pre-drill and then countersink um, and get it all in place. Hey, we're almost done. And if you ever find any movement in your board, you can always re-square. And really, it's as easy as that. Now you have a beautiful garden trellis that really didn't cost you hardly any money. And now you can uh, stain, paint, or just leave it natural. It's up to you. But it makes a perfect addition, really, to any garden or uh, decoration setting. Thanks for watching, and if you guys got anything from this video, make sure to subscribe and follow.